And welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to be working on this rag doll wig. Great idea for Halloween or dress up clothes for your little one. And this is a child size and it's available in different size patterns and you can access this in the more information of this video to get this link directly for this particular pattern. So let's go through some of the specifics on learning how to do this pattern together. For this pattern we need to do it in two different concepts. We need to do the underlay first and this is like a hat and it basically has a single crochet space in between each of the posts just like you see here. So all of this big material here, this is called Red Heart Vivid. It's a brand new yarn, it's a 2013. See how thick it is compared to Red Heart Super Saver. There is a significant difference. I thought to myself what if I did not have this particular yarn here and I thought to myself I could probably do many many strands of Red Heart Super Saver to equal the width of this here. So that might be a concept just in case you cannot access this vivid yarn. So today's tutorial I'm going to be working on the smaller pattern of it all. There are different sizes available in the pattern but the information that you're going to be learning is going to be showing you the concept so that you can follow the other sizes very easily if you wanted to. So you'll need a size 6.0 millimeter or a size J crochet hook today and you also need your Super Saver and as well as the complementary yarn. Now if I was to do this seriously I would want to make sure that the underlying is more closer to this but I don't have it in stock at this point. So that's something that you might want to consider for yourself just in case the underlying is just visible in the seam lines. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot and remember for slower tutorial videos on how to do techniques and ideas you can always check out redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. Com. So we have a slip knot and remember that this never counts as one on your crochet hook and it says with A which means color chain four and then join with a slip stitch to form a ring. So let's begin. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, three and four and to form a ring we're just going to slip stitch and we're just going to go to the center or the beginning chain that we started off with and grab the yarn and pull through just like so. So this is a straggler. I call it a straggler. It's a loose end. I just kind of want to pinch it so it kind of goes around the circle because in the next re revolution we're going to bury that underneath so you'll never see the starting of your string. We're going to start off now with round number one and it says to chain three which counts as a half double crochet plus chain one now and throughout and it says half double crochet into the ring and then chain one half double crochet into the ring six more times and join with a single crochet to the first half double crochet. So let's simplify what that's saying to you today. So we're just going to chain up three and so with half double crochet normally when you grow up on a round it will only be two but it's saying that this is counting as a chain one including into it and it will make sense in just two seconds. So we're simply going to half double crochet into the ring so it's right to the center. Remember see how I'm pinching down so this gets lost and it's just half double crochet. And we simply just chain one. Going back into the center of the ring we half double crochet and then chain one. So we're going to continue to do that and you will notice at the end of the instructions it will say chain eight chain one spaces. So what that what that's meaning is see the space right here that's one. The next one is two and three and so you can either count it out or just do a whack of them out all at the same time and just go back and see how many spaces that you have in between your posts and if you have the number eight you know that's good. But I'm going to show you a trick in just a second. I'm just going to add a few more. Chain one. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And when I join the final one, it, that would be seven. So I literally only have one more half double crochet to go. So let's count it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chaining one. And then it says to single crochet to the beginning half double or half double crochet. So we're just going to go into about the second chain up and we're going to pull through and then pull through. And the reason why we're doing that single crochet is that we want to end up in between these two points. If I just do a slip stitch as normal I'll end up over top of this post and I don't want that. So let's move along to round number two. 
So let's begin to do round number two and it says to chain three, half double crochet into the same space, chase, chain one, half double crochet in the next space and then it keeps on going. So let's just decipher this piece by piece. So the way that we finished off, we're actually in between two posts. So see how it's a gap underneath? That's where we're gonna start off with. So let's chain three and it says to half double crochet into the same space which is right directly underneath. So if you were doing a slip stitch as normal, you would be over top of a post and so that this would not be possible. So continuing along with the instructions, it says now to chain one and then half double crochet into the next space, which is the next empty one there. And then chain one. So here's where we have the repeat pattern going on. In the next one here, the next gapping space, we're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So the, okay, so chain one going into the very next space for half double crochet and then chain one. So the next one just how we did double here, we're gonna do another double over there. So it's half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So maintain that pattern going all the way around. I'll meet you back up in a second. We'll carry on and go on to round number three. So I've now come all the way back around and all I need to do now is just single crochet myself to the beginning of the half double crochet. So we just simply just stick in our hook to the second chain up, pull through and then pull through the two and that's a single crochet. So that creates your final gap just like you need and that will complete round number two. In round number three, it says to repeat what you've just done in round number two. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up three, one, two and three coming into the same spot underneath. Okay, this is where it's all joining. We're gonna half double crochet. So that's exactly what we've just done before. And now we chain one. And the next gapping space right here is just gonna be half double crochet, chain one. The next space is gonna be two half double crochets in there. And remember that there will be a chain one separating the half double crochets out. So here is your repeat pattern. So chain one. The next one is one half double crochet. Chain one. Going to the next gap, you're gonna put in your two in there again. So half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. And I'll continue that all the way around at that same pattern and we'll meet back up in a second and move on to round number four. So I'm coming all the way back around. I have one more gap to go and we're just gonna finish it off with a half double crochet. And then we're just gonna do a single crochet to pull it closed to finalize this round off. Now you can tell that if you're doing it right at this point, if you end up with the double that's right on that last one, you know that you've miscounted somewhere else along the way. So there's a double here, there's one here and a double and you can see that going all the way around. So to finalize, we're just gonna single crochet to the beginning, half double crochet. Oops, that was a slip stitch, don't do that. We just wanna pull it through just like so. So let's move along to round number four. Okay, round number four is really easy. All we're just gonna do now is chain up three, one, two, and three, coming into the same spot that you're joining underneath, just like so, for half double crochet. So this is growing the pattern, so we need to maintain the pattern. So we're gonna chain one, and the next two gapping spaces are gonna be one half double crochet each followed by a chain one to separate them. So that's one. Chain one, going into the next one. Half double crochet, chain one. So we want to do double, single, single, double. And we wanna continue that same kind of pattern. So the next one is gonna be two in there. So it's gonna be half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into the same spot. Chain one, the next one is a single by itself. So it's a half double crochet, chain one, go into the next one, half double crochet, chain one, and the next one will be double. So there'll be a two there. And just continue that same pattern going all the way around. We we'll back up in a second and we'll carry on to round number five. Like I explained in round number three, round number four is the same thing. So when we're going to finish off, so I got my double here and I still have two more gaps, which is right, because we have two half double crochets standing alone uh, in between the doubles. So that kind of makes sense. It helps you just verify that you're doing it right. And when you get your final one in, we just want to single crochet ourselves to the, to the second chain up from where we started and do a single crochet close. And that will leave the gap that's in between that we're going to be using next. So let's move along to round number five. 
Moving along to round number five, very, very simple round. We are just gonna chain three. So one, two, and three. And it says to chain one and then half double crochet into the next space. So that's just making complete sense, right? That's exactly what you need to do. So we're just gonna be able to go into the very next space and half double crochet. And then chain one and going into the very next space. So we're just gonna go into every space just with one half double crochet with the chain one that separates them for this particular round. So just continue to do that. We'll meet back up in a second, and finalize round number five, and move on to round number six next. So we're now coming all the way back around, and we're just gonna finalize the final one off with the single crochet, and then it says like before, so this is where we've originated out. You can see that it's pulling out of that space, so you know that you're done, and you're just gonna single crochet to the second chain up in order to finalize this round. So that was round number five. Let's move along to round number six. In round number six and seven, this part confused me, which actually made me refilm this whole video. <laughs> I was kind of crazy when you uh, think about it. I was confused by this round because it says repeat rounds four and five, and then it says 30 chain one spaces when you're done. Now this means that both of the rounds are being completed by this one sentence. Okay, so it repeats round four is for round six, and then five is for round seven. So it's repeating for both. So what I did in the original video when I filmed is that I did um, these instructions twice, which made my counts not balance. So let's uh, begin. We're gonna go back to round number four, and remember round number four, we're gonna chain one, sorry, chain three, half double crochet into the same space, chain one, half double crochet into the next space twice, and then chain one, etc. So let's begin. So chain three, and we're coming back into the same space that we joined. It's very simple. That's a half double crochet. And we're simply going to chain one. We're going to come into the very next space available for a half double crochet. And then chain one. The very next space, half double crochet, and chain one. And so then this is the third one over. And this one will have two in there. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into the same spot. So that's your repeat pattern, just like we did before. So chain one, half double crochet, chain one, the next gapping space for by itself again, chain one, and this is the third one over from the last one that you just did, and that's two half double crochets, and there's a chain one that separates them. Repeat that same pattern, we're not done this round, we're just gonna meet back up on the end of this round and continue along with that sentence to complete round number five once again. So we're coming up all the way around and we've been doing this uh, two single half double crochets. So they're half double crochet by themselves and then the double. You can tell if you're doing it right because you'll end up with the double and then there will be two spots left for one single or half double crochet for each one of these gapping spaces. And remember to chain one. So this is the final one of this uh, revolution. Okay, and then we're just gonna join it with the single crochet to the second chain up of the half double crochet that we started off with, just like so. So that was the first half of these instructions for round number six and seven. So that was repeating round number four, and now we're just gonna repeat number five, and that's the for number seven, if that makes any sense. So we're just gonna chain up uh, three, one, two, and three, and just like we did in round number five, is that we immediately come to the next gapping space for a half double crochet, chain one. And so we're just gonna put in a half double crochet into each one of the gapping spaces. There's no fancy footwork, nothing like that, and we're just gonna make sure we chain one in between each one of these and that will finalize round number seven. So let's uh, do that off camera. I'll be back in just a second. We'll move on to round number eight together. So I've come all the way back around now and we are just going to join again with a single crochet to the beginning half double crochet that we started off with. So we just go to the second chain up pull through and then pull through both. And so we're now ready for round number eight. Now as promised in the beginning of this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing the smaller sizes of these particular um, hats. So if you wanna do a different size, you'll just have to follow the different directions and you can see that there's brackets in the pattern to indicate the instructions that you will need to follow. So let's go on to round number eight and this is the uh, smallest size of this particular wig today.
So let's begin and it says to chain three and then chain and then in brackets which means the repeating pattern of chaining one and half double crocheting to each space. So this is exactly what we just did in the last round. So because we're not growing this hat any longer or this particular uh, wig it's now going to start following to form the bowl shape in order for a child to wear it. So to begin let's chain three. One, two and three. And that counts as your half double crochet and chaining one. So let's come into the very next gapping space and it will be half double crochet just like so. Then chain one and then going into the next. So that's all you have to do is do go all the way around, chain one, half double crochet into each one of the spaces as you go. So to continue that, we'll meet back up in a second. And we'll kind of carry on with round number nine. Just finishing off round number eight. This is the final and then we're just going to join with a single crochet just like we had been to the first half double crochet. So just like so. I keep wanting to slip stitch but it's a single crochet. So round number nine as per the instructions we just have to repeat just what we've done. So chain up three. Okay and then just move along to the next gapping and then put in a half double crochet into each one of the stitches uh, gaps it once again followed by a chain one in between each. So you'll notice that we are not growing this hat anymore that the hat is now going to start to bowl up on you which is exactly what you're looking for with this pattern. So carry on all the way around for round number nine. Okay let's finish up round number nine coming all the way back around. We just want to single crochet ourselves to the beginning half double crochet just like you see. Pull through and then pull through. So that completes round number nine. Let's move along and so you'll notice in the instructions for round number ten you will see eleven right beside it in brackets. Eleven is the other size of the pattern. So we're just carrying on with the small size of round number ten. So let's move along and do that next. Okay round number ten is really really simple. So we're just going to chain one and it says count that as a first single crochet now and throughout and it says to single crochet into each one of the half double crochets and chain one space going all the way around. So simply put we're just going to come into the very first half double crochet stitch. So we've been working the gaps up until this point. The next one is gaps. So we're just doing single crochets. The next one is right into the half double crochet and then the gap. So just continue to single crochet yourself all the way around this hat in the half double crochets as well as into the gapping spaces in between. Let's meet back up in just a sec. We'll have that done and move along to round number 11. So we're just going to carry on all the way around and when you get back to this we're just going to single crochet ourselves into the final just like that. And now it says two. This is round number 10. Join with the slip stitch to the first um, single crochet. So we're just going to join it with a single crochet with a slip stitch to the single crochet like that. Okay and this completes round number 10 together. So let's move along to round number 11. To begin round number 11 it says to chain one. So let's do that and we'll just worry about the next later. So it says uh, SE two together. That's single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next four and we want to keep repeating that all the way around. The reason why we're doing that is that it's allowing it to become smaller so that it adds like a gripping power to the top of your child's head. So let's uh, begin we're going to do two together. So we're just going to single crochet two together. So we're just going to slip in our hook, pull through and leave that on your hook. You're going to go to the next stitch, pull through, leave that on the hook. You'll have two and with the total of the first one. So you have three. Pull through all three. And then it says to single crochet into the next four. So let's count those out. So one, two, three and four. And then we're going to do two together again. So just slipping in your hook to the first stitch. Pull through and hold that onto your hook. Going into the next one. Pull through. Hold that. You will have a total of three. Pull through and now four single crochets again. So continue that same pattern going all the way around and you'll notice that the bowl shape really takes effect by the time you're done this revolution. So let's meet back up in a second while we'll carry on to round number 12. So we're going to finalize off. We're just going to do a slip stitch and join just like so. And so we're now going to start off with round number 12. Very very simple. We're just going to simply chain up one and then one single crochet into each single crochet all the way around very easy. You don't have to think about it. Very simple. So let's uh, continue to do that. Meet you back up in a second. We're going to finalize off this part 
of the project in order to start onto the wig next. And finally we're just coming all the way back around. We're just going to join with the slip stitch. This is the final of round number 12 and I just want to pull through through there. It's kind of tight in there. <laughs> so let's try that again. We're just going to pull through and through just like so and I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut like that. And all we just want to do is that I normally just pull up like this but I'm just going to grab this and pull it through that loop first and then I'm going to pull it snug. And now I'm just going to weave this in and out just for about an inch or two in order to lose the loose end in. And you can use a darning needle if you wish if you would like to hide it more. So let's be begin the next process which is doing the wig and the wig is very very simple and it's the fun part. So this is the foundation and this same concept can be used for doing adult hats. You just have to uh, think about the math in order to find these gaps. So you can see that there's a lot of gapping spaces. A it's to get the yarn through but B you don't have to do the extra work because this is all hidden anyway underneath. So let's move along to finishing this off by doing the wig aspect next. So the next process is to make the wig and so this is a Red Heart Vivid yarn and it is bold. So I've not done any camera tricks. It glows like this. It's absolutely terrific and probably in black light it'd probably be really amazing as well. So we want to cut 8 inch lengths. So you're going to want to measure that and just simply cut like so. So you can do many at one time or cut as you go. I would probably do a few just to kind of make it easier for you. About 8 inches. I should be measuring this but I'm just going to guess at this point. And we just want to get these ready in order to go. So that's just very simple. That's your first process. So now we're going to be joining this with a fringe knot in order to attach it to the wig next. To attach to the wig we just want to go around this, the half double crochets. Every half double crochet is going to get one of these fringing uh, hair knots. So we have basically eight. So it says to start off on the top and work our way around. So all we're just going to do is we're going to take the yarn just like so and we're going to fold it in half like this. Okay so you have just like that and so we're just going to start on the top of the hat and coming in from the side around the post, the half double crochet and just pull tight, pull that through just like so and so we're now just going to grab these two loose ends and just pull it through and pull it snug. So just pull it back tight just like that. So simply just we're going to work our way to the next one and you're going to do, do the whole hat this way and because this yarn is so bulky it's going to begin to sit up once you get too much yarn going on and if it goes all fringy like this it's just uh, part of the characteristics of the yarn. So we're just going to come in behind the next post. So just simply going around in circles. I might actually consider getting a larger size. Um, so right now you can see that the yarn lengths are not equal. So what I would want to do is just kind of pull so that they're both equal at this point before I fasten off. You can always trim these if you didn't get the right lengths as well. So you just want to put that through and you want to do the entire hat just like this. And so essentially you can see that it might want to matter on which side that you want to getting in. So you're going to want to go into a pattern. So you can see that the the string going across is on this side and it's on this side. So you kind of kind of want to be strategic because it does matter on the way that it would look and that's how you would do a fabulous little wig if you wanted to do something like that for Halloween or even dress up clothes for your kids. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the crochetcrowd.com as well as Red Heart and join us at any time for free patterns and more inspiration. Until next time I'm Mikey.